Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and tonight I'm with Amy and Charmaine and Ian and Kimberly. And so tonight we're going to minister to people that put their names on the list. So if you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. So uh, when the Lord um, commands anybody to minister, uh, the protocol that we need to follow uh, is from the Bible and in 2 Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians, yes, 1 Corinthians, huh? chapter 14, verse 3, it says there, um, let, when, um, when you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. Okay, and so that's what we do when we minister. The scripture also talks about when you minister, let two or three prophesy and then let that word be judged. So the Lord really recommended that we minister in teams. And so that's why we are five people here today and we minister. And, and I encourage you, once you received your word, go and pray about it, write it down, um, get scriptures that's in line with that prophetic word. Uh, declare it over your life. Ask the Lord, Lord, what instructions is He giving to you so that you can, can align yourself with the plan that God has for your life so that He can give you resources and He can help you to fulfill your destiny. All right? So that's, that's very important. Um, I was reading today in the Bible in Exodus chapter, I think Deuteronomy chapter 28. So it says there, if you are careful to obey the instructions that God gives you, the commands of God, and you're very careful to, to obey them exactly like the way the Lord says to you. He says all of these blessings will come upon your life. And then he talks about lots of different blessings on your finances and on your family and in your house and your land. And everything will just be blessed. But the blessing come because you are careful to obey the instructions of God. And so then the Lord said to me, when I read my Bible, I must read until I get an instruction. Because when I do the instruction, then the blessing can come. So then I saw, okay. So to get blessing from God, I need instructions. Once I do that instructions, then the blessing can come. And so that's the same thing when we, when we prophesy. You listen and ask the Lord, what is your instruction for me? And then the blessing of God will come on your life. Okay, awesome. So um, we're going to start to minister. The first person is Dawn Stewart. All right. So Dawn, the Lord show, showed me a fortress. And on the fortress was men on the wall and women on the wall. And they were praying. And they were interceding uh, for the city and for the people that were in the fortress. And then I saw you were also one of the ones with, that were marching there. And you were like one of the commanders of those people that were marching on the walls. And they were looking out for the, uh, to, to the outside to see if the enemy is coming. And they were praying and they were declaring, declaring the word of God into the spirit realm. And they were bringing a hedge of protection around the people inside the fortress. And I just felt like that the Lord is saying, that you are an intercessor and a protector along with all the other things that you do. That's also part of your anointing and your call. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Dawn. God loves you. This next word is for Celeste. Celeste, the Lord loves you very much. And I just really feel how the Lord is, is really protecting you right now. The picture God showed me for you was how you were getting on a roller coaster and you had a lot of fear because you're like, is this safe? What's going on? But I just see how the Lord is really strapping you um, um, and, he, and He's really saying to you, I am your belt of truth. I am your covering. I'm going to keep you safe. You will not fall. And I just feel the Lord says that He has, he has you. And then you start going faster and faster. And in the past you used to be scared but i just feel the lord is really giving you more joy in this season um celeste god loves you so much and god is really doing such a healing um in your life i really feel complete healing um god bless you our next word is for tash Chennai salter i just saw how god showed me like pruning shears then i saw like how he, ha he came to you and he, he started to cut all of the old away and i felt like how god says that the old is being cut away to make new for um, to make room for new growth to come. I feel like our God shows me that in this new season, how tremendous growth is going to happen. I see like how God shows me that He gives you Holy Spirit water, and I feel like how that water will allow that new growth to happen. But I also feel like our God shows me that because of the old growth being taken away, it feels like this like some parts of your of your life that's being missing but i feel like our god's saying that spend intimate time with him with him because i feel like how he says that he wants to come and fill that void that you feel that like there's a void be blessed thank you tasha Nay, for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for janardana janardana the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of a chain a heavy chain that is connected steel chain links 
It's not going to break easy. And that is how you connect it to the Lord. You are very securely connected to the Lord. Even though you're at the back, when you drag a chain, sometimes it will flap around at the back. And I see that is how you experience it. But don't be concerned. You're not going to disconnect from the Lord. You, you're not going to, the Lord is not going to let you be disconnected. You're still going to be um, securely intact, connected with the Lord. Now, entangled with the Lord. That is when you wait upon the Lord and you just listen to the instructions of the Lord and you follow those instructions. Because when you follow those instructions, I just see a letter of rest being delivered to you. That when you read it, it's going to nourish your soul. It is going to revive and restore you. Be blessed. Hey, my channel, please leave us a comment. This next one is for Davis. The Lord shows me how you are plugging yourself out of the world and out of self-development trying to make yourself better and how you plug yourself into the Lord and I see how everything that you were concerned about like your work the the environment that you live in when you are when you plug into God and not think that you can do it all by yourself there is power there the Lord wants you to know there's power when you connect with the Father, when you connect with the one who loves you and he loves you so much. He wants you to be plugged into him and his power source rushes through you and, and heals you and, and helps with your situation and just mends your heart. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Jalen. Uh, so Jalen, the Lord shows me how you worship a lot and how the presence of God sits on you and there is a flame of fire on your head uh, from the Holy Spirit. And then I see how you go to each one of your family members and how you lift them up and how your anointing on your life is to encourage people to lift them up and help them to connect with the purpose that God has in their lives. And I see there's brokenness that came in your past. But the Lord says the more you, you lift other people up and you speak encouragement and motivation and God's word into people around your life, the more that river of God will start to flow through you and then that will also bring healing to your own life. I also see how the Lord puts a crown of joy upon your life. God bless you, Jalen. Amen. God bless you, Jalen. God loves you. This next word is for Mariette. Mariette, I just feel how the Lord um, is really placing so much grace upon you. And while praying for you, I just saw how you were like by the river and you were you just had so much peace and so much love. And I just feel the Lord says this is a time of restoration for you. And Mariette, I just feel that there is just a, an anointing of unity in your life, that you're going to bring unity to your family, to um, but also God wants to be more united with you. I just feel God is just calling you deeper to his presence and that you are called to be a voice to get people to be more united, to be united with God. And I just feel the Lord has placed wisdom and the words of compassion and love over your tongue. And the Lord says, speak my love, speak my love letters over my people. And I just feel the Lord says, Moriette, that I'm with you and I love you. God bless you. Our next word is for uh, Greg Marhas. Greg, God loves you so much. I just, uh, I just saw like this picture of how God showed me like an artist. But I felt like how this artist like takes scrap metal and old nails, rusty nails, and he puts it together. And he makes this beautiful, beautiful art piece. But then somebody that's not like anointed to be an artist comes and he does the same. And it doesn't look the same. So I feel like our God says that He wants you to be anointed as an artist, as a creative, creative person. So I just see like how God comes and you are like with God in the spiritual realm. And God comes and He knights you like, you know, with a sword like a, a person is knighted. So I just see like how God knights you like that. Not just to just be like an artist, but He's knighting you and He's anointing you. With lots of spiritual gifts, I specifically see your hands that's being anointed. And I feel like how when you pray for people, how the sick will be healed and how the dead will be raised. But I feel like you need to spend intimate time with God, um, have time with God where that anointing can be rubbed off on you. Be blessed. Thank you, Greg, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. If you want prayer, please put your prayer request in the comments. There's a lot of people that love to pray with you, for you, come into agreement with anybody else's prayers. If you want prophetic ministry, please put your name, surname, and if you're not sure if you're going to get it right, whether you're a male or a female. Okay, the next word is for Dominica. Dominica, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of an airplane that comes in to land on the runway, and even though it's snowing, raining outside, you are at peace because you know this plane is going to be 
a safely touched down. Now, the other people are concerned, uh, but you are at rest and at peace. And I just see how the Lord says that the landing will be smooth. I just see how the connections that you have will be smooth. I see uh, challenges that has been removed. Other people still experience the challenges, but you are delivered from those challenges. Be blessed. Amen, Dominica. Please leave us a comment. This thanks but it's for Christina. Christina, the Lord just shows me how you are swaying with the Holy Spirit, how you are dancing with the Lord. And the Lord shows me how that connection, that being so comfortable around, around the presence of the Father, but still giving that reverence is so wonderful that you can go into His presence and then you can just dance with Him and give him glory. The Lord shows me that he sees your offering and that he and that he accepts it and that he loves you and that what you have laid down before him and say, Lord, I'm not going to hold this anymore. I'm going to give it to you. The Lord shows me how he is so, so proud of you for, get, for taking off that weight. And the Lord shows me, he says, keep on coming. And, and he says, I, I, he says he loves to dance with you. Be blessed. Hey, awesome, Dominica. God bless you. Ach, uh, Christina, sorry, Christina. Uh, God bless you. Okay, uh, Renate, uh, the Lord showed me that you went through quite a long time where you were in survival mode and the Lord was protecting you the whole time. The Lord was fa uh, faithful uh, to just supply to you when you thought it's not going to happen and also to protect you in difficult situations. But now I see how the Lord is putting you on a rock and He's establishing you and He says, I want you to grow. I want you to expand. I want you to be to overflow with my life and with my joy and with my word and to uh, be one when people come in contact with you that they receive that overflow of God's glory that's in your life. God bless you, Renata. Amen. God bless you, Renata. God loves you. This next word is for Cushy. Cushy, I just see a picture of you um, like as a butterfly and it was like you got out of the cocoon too soon and there was a lot of things um, that was rushed and, and I just feel the Lord says uh, and, it, and, it's like, and it was like you had a lot of anxiety and because it was you were not ready for this and I just saw how the Lord just picked you up and He, and he places you back into... Um, in that sacred in that secret place where he like just like works in your life he, he he's healing you and i just feel the lord says that i'm doing such a great work in you and i am preparing you for such a time as this and when you go back out there you'll be ready but i just feel the lord is really taking you into a series a, a time of healing right now where he's just saying okay the, these things are rushed let me just give you some grace and, and take you back. And I, I just feel the Lord is really um, placing that upon you because he loves you. And then Kushi, I really want to encourage you. God has called you to be a leader. God has called you to be a, an amazing communicator, to communicate his love, but also um, in, in, a, in a way of excellence. And I just feel the Lord is right now just picking you up and just placing you back into his arms and just saying, let me heal you and prepare you for this. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Christine. Christine, I just heard how God is saying, allow the oil to flow. Um, I see how God shows me that you've got like oil dripping from your hands. But I feel like how God is saying, do not let the oil just stay on your hands. Let the oil go to other people. Um, I sort of like see like a, like a bee that's going from flower to flower. It's taking the pollen and pollinating another flower or just do, doing the, like that process and I feel like how God says that process, process should go on with the oil as well. I feel like how God shows me that you've got anointing to pray for people so that healings can happen. And then I also saw like how God shows me that your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears are open and I see like how God shows me that you've got anointing to prophesy to people as well and I just see like how God shows me that he wants you to practice prophesying to people and um, practice like going deeper into the spirit and seeing spiritual things that God wants you to see and allowing the spirit to work in your inside so that you can manifest what is working in the spiritual realm on earth as well. Be blessed. Thank you Christine for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. We love to hear from you and remember to put your prayer request in the group. Uh, comments as well. The next word is for Lydia. Lydia, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of the Lord has given you a key to open the door. So open the door so that you can receive the blessings. And I just feel how the Lord showed you strategy 
to unlock your blessings and if you're not quite sure just ask the Lord for a confirmation and he will help you to to just open that door so that the blessings can flow because it seems like it is open close open close and you are the one opening and closing it the keys is in your hands you can open the door and I just see how the Lord encourages you uh, so that you open the door fully so that the blessings can flow be blessed Amen, Lydia. Please leave us a comment. This text is for Esther. Esther, the Lord says, do not fear. Do not be afraid to speak up, especially in the season that you are in. I really feel that this this name that you have been given is 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 really a prophetic name. Like Esther in the Bible, she was afraid, but she 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 fasted and she prayed. And she went and she spoke to the king. I, I hear the Lord saying, go and speak. Do not be afraid. I will be with you. I, I go before you. I, I go behind you. I am surrounding you. Do not be afraid. Um, he loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay. Esther, uh, God bless you. Uh, Esther, uh, I just felt uh, e elevation or picked up higher. This is what I felt God's doing with you. Okay, so Renata, um, so what the Lord is showing to me is that story with the Israelites with the bitter water. And how they drank that bitter water and they couldn't drink it and they were thirsty and it was very hard for them and so they cried before the Lord and then the Lord uh, had Moses put in a, a tree I think in the water and it made the water sweet and I just felt that the Lord is saying to you that he is going to turn the bitter water in your life into sweet water and then I also got a word for your new year like a Rosh Hashanah type word where the Lord is saying your, your year uh, ahead of you will be a sweet year. God bless you, Renata. Amen. God bless you, Renata. God loves you. This next word is for Rochelle. Rochelle, God loves you very much. And I just see a picture of how um, it's like you're getting out of an old house and coming into a new house. And I just feel Lord is really making a new space for you right now. It's like this fresh start and the house is beautiful. But the Lord says you need to put furniture in it. And I just feel the Lord is, is giving you so much creativity right now and so many solutions right now for things, for, for new changes you're going to make. I'm starting now and also for next year but I just feel this is a time of change um, where you're taking out old furniture and you're bringing you're making the place look new and I just feel that's a gift God has given you and then also Rochelle I really want to encourage you um, I, I just really feel how the Lord is, is really placing a crown of yeah it's creativity it's solutions but also there's so much hope that God is restoring in your life God loves you so much God bless you our next word is for Narinda Narinda I just felt like oh God is saying that you need to Praise God and you need to worship God. You need to l l just like go in worship and pray for your Jericho walls to be taken down. I feel like our God shows me that you've got like circumstances in your life that's like a Goliath in your, uh, in your life, a mountain that needs to be bro broken down. And I just see like our God is saying that you'll do it by prayer and fasting, worshiping God, dancing before God, just believing in God and worshiping in worshiping him and i just see like how that circumstances in your life will just go away because of your your trust and your your worship and your your belief in god be blessed thank you narendra for being here tonight please remember right to say comment and also if you want prayer please put your prayer request in the group there's a lot of people that love to pray uh, with you but if you want prophetic ministry put your name surname where you're from and if you think we're going to mess it up a male or a female mm -hmm. okay so the next word is for Susan. Susan, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Um, if you are fishing, that's the picture that I saw for you, was if you're fishing and you panic, you are anxious, you don't know what to do because the fish is not biting, however you respond is not going to have any impact if the fish is going to bite or not, except strategy and what you do with the strategy. So it seems like the circumstances where you're in makes you anxious but your anxiety is only going to worsen the effect for yourself it's not going to bring any solution you need to go to the lord in order for you to get the right strategy pray about the strategy read up until you get a strategy uh, connect with the lord the lord wants to give you the strategy so that you can get your breakthrough be blessed uh amos please leave us a comment i just want to let everyone know we are recording 
do not stress. You can go back and listen to your word, all right? It is, it is not gone. You can go back. Don't worry. Um, this next word is for John McDonald. John, the Lord says, He is omnipresent. The enemy is not. The Lord shows me how you are doing like these tapping things like Morse code. And the Lord shows me that He is giving you wisdom to come up with plans and amazing plans and that the enemy will not understand what you are doing but the Lord knows and I see how your purpose is really to to help set the, the foundations for the next generation. You are giving the Morse code, you are sending out the plans and the foundations are being laid for the next generation to rise up in Christ. Be blessed. Hey, John, God bless you. Okay, so Horace, uh, I see how the Lord is just uh, putting a crown upon you and He says you are my son and He's affirming you today. And I just see how the strength uh, and the anointing of God is poured upon your life. And now the Lord says that you're not going to um, uh, go on a second tier, but you're going to go on my A team. You're going to be strong and you're going to run in the front. Uh, and uh, the Lord says, I'm putting you on the front line uh, and I'm giving you the boldness and the, the courage of a lion. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Carolina. Carolina, the Lord loves you. I'll pray for you. I just heard the sound of a trumpet of a shofar and that represents oil and anointing. And I just feel that's what God is doing in your life. He is pouring out his oil and anointing over your life. And then um, Carolina, I, I just feel the, um, the Lord is really bringing so much. Um, I just feel freedom right now. And, and I saw uh, you in like this beautiful... Um, in these beautiful in this beautiful forest and it was it was peaceful and i just saw how you just got like a breath of, of, of some fresh air and i just saw how you just breathed in god's love god's peace and then when you went back out um to your ministry your business there was like this refreshing in you and i just feel the lord says the old is gone i am filling you up with my Holy Spirit and I'm speaking to you. I just feel the Lord, Lord is really speaking to you right now and His Word is love, His Word is freedom, but also He's going to train you to walk in the excellence and righteousness um, of His ways. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Anil. Anil, God loves you so much. I just saw like how God picked you up and put, put you on His lap and I just felt like how God is comforting you. I see uh, how God like takes your heart and he heals your heart i feel like our god shows me that there's parts of your heart that's been broken parts of your heart that feel sad and i just see like how god god comes and he like heals it then i also saw like how god shows me like i saw like it's almost like he's blowing wind from his mouth and he's blowing the wind inside of you and i feel like how that wind gives you like a peace and a joy and i just see like how god shows me as well that that wind brings like a renewal in your life be blessed thank you anil for being here tonight please remember right to say comment the next word is for jane jane the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of an eagle now, an eagle works hard to get up into the air, but once he's in the air, he can actually fly in the wind currents and he is just soaring like an eagle. Not a lot of hard work, but he uses a lot of wisdom. He feels the wind and the, the thermals. So, the Lord says, the wind of the Holy Spirit will help you to rise you. So, there's a point of hard work and then there's a point of using wisdom. You need to know when to work hard and when to use wisdom. And the Lord says, if you pray and you connect to the Holy Spirit, you will get both. You will get the understanding. You will get the wisdom that you need. And I just see rest. Rest is not a bad thing, uh, but focus and pray and the Lord will help you. Be blessed. Amen, Jane. Please. There we go. Uh, Emma Jane, please leave us a comment. This next word is for um, Johnson Anderson. The Lord shows me all of these colors and how he is just illuminating your eyes to see clearly what the Lord is doing. And sometimes when we engage the Father, there are times for our eyes to be closed, but the Lord says, I want your eyes to be open. I want you to see where, what am I doing and where you can assist me. I hear the Lord saying that I want to partner with you. I want to be yoked with you and I want you to help me to pour out in in the world the Lord doesn't need us but he wants to involve us because he loves us he wants us to grow and I hear the Lord saying that he wants you to to get involved be blessed Johnson uh, the Lord has caught you as a leader 
Uh, and so he, he, is, he is calling you and he's putting you in a position where you can lead and he's going to give you more responsibility. God bless you. All right, so Kemet, uh, the Lord showed me a, a kettle uh, that had um, lukewarm water and then that water was boiled again to, to serve uh, drinks, uh, hot drinks like coffee and tea uh, to people. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that he is going to boil the water that's on the inside of you. Now, what is always a picture of the Word of God, uh, of even the, the, the river of the Holy Spirit that flows out of uh, you. And I just felt that the Lord is just bringing that temperature up in your life so that you can serve and you can minister to people and you can bring refreshment uh, and comfort to people. And so the Lord is just rising up the temperature on the inside of you so that you can be a blessing to the people around you. God bless you, Kim. Amen. God bless you, Kim. And God loves you. This next word is for Peter. Peter, the Lord loves you very much. And I just feel the Lord has really given you a heart of worship. And I just feel how the Lord is singing over you. And when you go into his, that place of worship, um, when you worship Him, you're going to find miracles. You know that that quote where it says, um, when you know your business is good is when you make when you're making money while you sleep and i just feel the lord says it's it's the same as like when you worship it's like that's when the solutions and the breakthroughs come it, it's it's if that makes sense um i just i just really feel how the lord says worship me there will be breakthrough and then i saw a picture of how um you you actually god has called you to be like a lifesaver so i saw a picture of a of a child and the child was about to really um hurt herself and and i just saw how you just um, and, and, I, and, and I just saw how you just saved that child and I, I, um, I, I just really feel how the Lord says that don't don't underestimate the little things you are planting seeds that are really bringing people especially young people closer to the Holy Spirit and I just feel the Lord says your words have authority and power and, and I just feel God is really proud of you keep on speaking God loves you God bless you our next word is for Brian John Peter what I saw for you God showed me like a bag um, full of coins but then I sure like how God says that he wants you to multiply that coins and by doing that I feel like how you need to go to God ask God for wisdom and strategies of what you need to do I just got reminded of those three men that received the talents from God and not all of them did right with it and I feel like our God says that he wants you to come to him and ask him for advice on strategies of what you want you to do I see like our God shows me that you've got an anointing on your hands to multiply whatever you've received but I feel like how you can only do that when you stay in tune with the spirit and when we're with God's strategies and instructions of what you need to do be blessed thank you Brian for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you the next word is for Rieta. Rieta, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of those, I'm not sure if you call it an escalator, but it's the, uh, in some of the airports they use it, it's a tractor feed, wherever, where you get on and you don't have to walk, it moves you forward, even though you're not going up or down. But in any way, I see you on one of these things. Now, the advantage of this is you are being guided and you cannot go off the path. Uh, but also you're going to have to move at the pace of the path. You cannot move uh, forward. You're going to walk into other people. Now just see how the Lord's putting you in a system where He guides you. Some days it's going to feel slower. But just know that the Lord is working with you at a pace that you can handle. And then I also see that you are secure inside. You, you cannot go off course. So there's a lot of guidance that's going to come your way. So just follow the guidance. Be blessed. Amen, Rieta. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Hazel. Hazel, the Lord shows me how you are waving this white flag in surrender to the Lord and how he takes this white flag and he like puts it in a ball in his hands and then when he opens it, it is like now it's like real white and it's shining so brightly and how he just clothes you with that, how he clothes you in grace and what you bring to the Lord that he purifies it and he clothes you in it and the Lord really shows me how he is awakening you like Lazarus he is bringing you back and the Lord shows me how he's just opening up new doors for you be blessed hey Hazel uh, the Lord is very proud of you God bless you okay Cheryl the Lord shows me how Jesus disciples were going from town to town and then wherever they were accepted, they stayed. But wherever they were not accepted, they just blessed the people and they went on to the next place. 
And I just felt that the Lord was giving you the instruction. The people around you that's not blessing you, you just bless them, shake the dust off your feet and go on to the next place. Don't try and hope and think, oh, it's going to change, it's going to get better. I just felt that the Lord says, uh, what the, the, um, they've reached their limit of this is what they're going to do. This is their capability. This, that's what they're willing to do. And so I just felt that the Lord says, just be nice. <coughs> Bless them and move on to the to the next one and the Lord will open up a door of blessing for you again. God bless you, Cheryl. Amen. God bless you, Cheryl. God loves you. This next word is for Ari. Ari, while praying for you, the picture God showed me for you was how um, it's like you're in like this very tall building and God says, okay, it's now to, time to get to the next level. And I saw how you. It the picture was like you were like in a very icy cold place and you were shivering and everyone around you was cold but it was like God's hand put, he put his hand on your shoulder then all of a sudden the cold was gone you were totally warm and I just feel the Lord says that's who I called you to be in places where it's cold in places where it feels it's impossible to live God's hand is upon you and you will be warm and you will be protected and I just feel the Lord says your environment won't affect you for I am your God I am your king I am with you so I just want to encourage you if you feel like you're shivering right now if you feel like you're not in the right place i just see how god is placing his hand on your shoulder saying to you he's with you so receive his warmth god loves you god bless you our next word is for ingrid nimant ingrid when i prayed for you god showed me like this very very hardy ground cover that you put in the ground and i just saw like how god shows me that you are like that ground cover Wherever you able to shoot your roots, that's where you'll be able to grow. And I just see like our God is saying, that is like when you go someone, somewhere, even though it feels like to you it's not the right place, that you are such a, a deep rooted into God, into His Word, that even though it, you're not at the right place, you'll still receive growth and you'll still be able to grow. And I feel like how... Because of that, you'll be able to give from yourself, even though um, you're not, even though the area where you are is not the right place where you're supposed to be. But you'll still get, you'll still receive, and you'll still be able to give as well. Be blessed. Thank you, Ingrid, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Elise. Elise, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Trust in the Lord always. Trust in the Lord always. That's what the Lord says. Now even uh, Simon Peter trusted in the Lord when he said, when the Lord said, come to me and walk on the water. And even though he trusted, he had enough faith to climb out of the boat. But eventually he sank. You see, he did not drown. That is the difference. When you put your trust in the Lord, even though it feels like you're sinking and even though you might sink, you're not going to drown. Your trust is in the Lord. Now just see how the Lord says, trust me, even though you're sinking. Trust Him because He won't let you go under. He won't let you drown. He will be there to protect you. Even though your circumstances may not reveal the truth, God will never let you go down. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Shambhaga. The Lord shows me how you are holding on so tightly to this rope. And, and the Lord just shows me how He is coming. And He's wrapping His hands around your hands. And He's saying to you, keep going. Don't let go. Don't give up. Uh, keep moving forward and, and don't think that you can do this by yourself. The Lord says that with me all things are possible. And that's what the Lord wants you to lean on. You, he wants you to lean into Him, into His ways. and Because He is a good Father and He has a good plan. And how He is holding you. As He is holding your hands, that is, that is a sign that the Lord is holding you and that you have not been let down. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you. Okay, so Nitha, uh, so the Lord shows me the quads, the upper legs. And the Lord was talking to me about your dominion and your strength and your ability to stand in the Lord. And I, and I saw how you were sitting on someone's lap that were very strong and how they were providing a, a covering and authority in your life and how you're starting to stand on your own legs. Now, you know when a new calf or a new uh, little lamb is born, then that first day they're very unstable on their legs. But after... Uh, a short amount of time they can actually walk with their mother and all of that and I just see how that strength of God comes into you and how you stand up and how you rise up as a woman of faith 
And I felt that the Lord says, the way you're going to activate it is through declaring the scriptures and declaring the word of God. And I, and I, and I felt you need, to, you need to activate it. You need to get some scriptures and start declaring it over your life and over your family. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Jeremy. Jeremy, the Lord loves you very much. And I just see a picture of how there's like this puzzle piece and you're trying to um, put it together. And, and and I see you like have the system of how you do it. You put the piles in the right places. But I just feel the Lord says, okay, for this puzzle, this is going to be a bit different. And I want to do this with you. And I just feel the Lord says that the new challenges that you're going to have in your life, um, you're really going to lean on him. But God has given you the Holy Spirit. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you the Holy Spirit, but I'm also giving you so much confidence and boldness. So when you go into situations and challenges, you're going to be so in his, so dependent on his voice, but at the same time, so much peace. I just feel the Lord says, there's, there's, there's this confidence, peace that God is giving to you. And then I just feel how the Lord is really bringing like a team together of people that you're going to work with. And I just feel the Lord says that it's going to be, this is how you know this is going to be the person you're going to work with. Um, Look at look at their fruits. Um, are they showing the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But also, there are specific people that God placed in your life as well that don't really have that. But it is, but it helps us with our character. And I just I, I just feel the Lord says, I know what I'm doing. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Efeshuku. Efeshuku, I saw like like a pressure cooker, and I saw like how that pressure cooker built up so much steam inside that it's got so much pressure. But then I see like how God just lifts the lid, or not the lid, but the thingy that takes out all the pressure, and I, or the valve or something. And I just see like how all that pressure is being released, and it's like becoming like less pressure. And then I also saw like how God just shows me how He takes away all that heaviness, all that things that you that you that you feel you can't handle and then I, then I saw like how God shows me like he makes you very efficient I also saw like how God it's almost almost like this picture of it how it looks like God gives you like extra hands and he gives you like extra things that you can work with and I just see like how God shows me that you that, that you'll be like a, a, a a very good multitasker God shows me like how all this task and how all of these things comes to your way and I just see like how you efficiently works through everything and how you become become like a very good administrative person be blessed thank you Fishuku, for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Joel Joel the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a statue or something that is in your way there's a target behind the statue and you need to shoot at it now there's two ways the the first way is trickery where you actually uh, when they do the shows they would actually make like they're shooting through that person uh, but it is trickery and then there's another way to shoot over that that takes skill and I see how the Lord says practice to go over the target uh, don't do it even though it's gonna take some time to learn that skill it is possible you will definitely be able to do it and i just see how the lord says start to uh, dig in your heels push forward just just start because when you start your faith will be activated and you will start to to engage with the process of getting the difficult things right now just see how the lord says you will hit the target be blessed Amen, Joel. It's wonderful to have you here tonight. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Ellen. Ellen, the the Lord shows me you jumping over these hurdles, and how and how you have trained so much to be able to jump over these over these things. And I hear the Lord saying that that it is going to take training. It is going to take persistence. It is going to take dedication. And 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 you need to want to grow. And you need to want to improve. And I hear the Lord saying that He is your biggest cheerleader, that He is is there for you. The Holy Spirit is there for you to, to console, to go and, and ask for counseling. And Jesus is your teacher. He is your coach. He will be there for you to help to help guide you. The Lord wants you to start building up that drive to grow more in the Lord. And the Lord shows me how you will grow and bear good fruit. Be blessed. Hey, Elon, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is Mary Jane. So Mary, uh, uh, I see a, a heart, and one of the muscles on this heart uh, uh, had a had an injury, and I saw the spear coming to your heart, and how 
your hearts struggle to to keep faith and then I saw how the Lord come with the Holy Spirit like with that machine and it just activates that muscle so it starts to work perfectly again and the heart uh, started to beat in a in a rhythm it's supposed to beat uh, and I felt that the Lord is breaking the spear off of you and he's putting his Holy Spirit yeah. joy into your heart and he's bringing full restoration into your life and so the Lord says just allow him to to fill you up and to to uh, restore you completely God bless you Amen. God loves you so much, Mary. You are you're such a blessing. This next word is for Frankie. Frankie, the picture God showed me for you was how God has called you to break off the chains of depression and sorrow. Um, God has called you to, to really walk in that peace and joy. And I just feel how the enemy comes and attacks you. And it's kind of like you have like the sorrow backpack and it's full of rocks and heaviness. And then when something goes on, it's like you put this on and, and well, the enemy puts it on you. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm totally removing this sorrow backpack and, I'm, and I've called you to come into my rest. And then Frankie... I just feel how the Lord has called you to be a leader um, and I, I just really feel how the Lord has called you to I just, I just see how you're like on by this table and you're like an architect and you're um, drawing these plans and I just feel God says I'm giving you vision so much vision and and it's it's so much I have much bigger vision than you have Frankie so I just feel the Lord says I've I've bigger vision for you in your life the the hopes and the future that I have for you is so good so I just feel the Lord is saying to you tap into my presence and let me show you what I want to do in your life um God loves you so much Frankie God has such a big calling on your life he really loves you God bless you our next word is for Yolandi Nadia. Yolandi, God loves you so much. I just see like how God shows me the floodgates are being opened. I see like how God shows me like how He's like placing a boldness upon you. How you'll be able to speak the word of God fluently whenever you're in like circumstances or whenever you're around people. I see like how God just shows me that open doors in ministry. How God just shows me that how He's giving you a platform and how He's like giving you giving you people in your life that's lifting you up and building you up i see like how god shows me that he's surrounding you by people that's speaking life over you that's speaking word over you and because of that i see like how god shows me that how all the heaviness and all the 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 negativity negativity that was spoken to you in the past how all of that ta um just falls off from you be blessed Thank you, Lani, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you getting entangled in a curtain. Now, when you stand in a curtain and you turn around and around, the curtain's going to wrap around you so tightly that you cannot uh, move or get out except by turning the other way. And I, I'm reminded of where the disciples were supposed to cast their net on the other side on the instructions of the Lord. And the Lord says, Go around the other way and I just see how you, uh, as easily as you got entangled, you just got disentangled. So I see the Lord says it is a lot easier than you think, but you need to pray for wisdom. God wants to give you help. He wants to um, give you direction. And I just see how basically turning the other way will get you out of the <laughs> sticky situation that you're in right now. Be blessed. And hey, Barnabas, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Anthony. Anthony, the Lord says, break your vase, pour your oil out to him, and and give and pour your concern out onto the Lord. He wants to hear your heart, and he wants to hear it coming from your own lips. The Lord shows me how he's looking into your heart and how he's looking into your mind, and he sees what's going on. But he wants you to to confess it. He wants you to to name that those things and and the lord shows me how he and you just come together and 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 and, he, and you just break those things off of you because you don't you don't just let it live there and ignore it you 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 name it and you remove it by just being in the presence of the lord and taking that authority be blessed yeah. anthony um i just see i just see the anointing uh, of the call of god upon your life yeah. uh, god bless you uh, shannon fleming uh, the Lord shows me how you drive in a little two-seater sports car very fast. 
and how you then come to the destiny and now you climb over into a van and this is more like a family bus there's lots of people in there it's a lot slower and you need a lot more patience and not no resources and so the lord gives you a lot more responsibilities uh, and but then i just see how the river of god flow out of you towards each one of those and how you take responsibility how you encourage them how you bless them and how you just get into your element and how the lord is almost like a um, a promotion that God has given to you and although it's slower uh, it's, it's a lot more rewarding for you that's just what the Lord shows me God bless you Amen God bless you Shannon God loves you so so much this next word is for um, Nirivan um, Nirivan God loves you so much and I just feel the Lord says that I love you and it's so real and I just I just see how God just just there is such a desire in your heart to see him and to know who he is and i just feel the lord says i'm going to show you my face just like god showed uh, moses his face and i just see how the lord has called you to be an intercessor god has called you to be a prayer warrior god has called you to see in the spirit and I see how you go into his presence and you receive like, I don't know if you feel the Holy Spirit or not, but I just see how you receive like this new tongue. You start praying in tongues um, and in this new, brand new heavenly language. And I just feel the Lord says that I have called you to have extra oil, to be like those like those other five, five wise versions that have the extra oil. And I just see how you encourage people to say, come on, fill up your oil. Um, oil lamps let's be ready for him so yeah i really want to encourage you don't stop praying keep on seeking god is is really um drawing near to you god bless you our next word is victor for victor and tanzi victor i just heard supernatural i see like how god shows me that how you make a list of all your needs the, the things that need to be paid the things that need to be bought for your house uh, the things that your family need and i just see like how you go down on your knees and you start to pray over this list you you take anointing oil and you like anoint this list of things that you need to buy or the the needs that you have and then i just see how you go out and you go about your normal day and then when i saw like the list again i just saw like how everything is scratched off done 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 and i just feel like our god is saying here that he wants you to make your needs known because he's already he already knows what your needs are but he wants you to make your needs known because god wants to show you that he's a god of supernatural and he can provide for you even though you think you won't be able to like afford or you won't be able to do something god says that he will be able to give you whatever your needs are be blessed Thank you, Victor, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Benjamin. Benjamin, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I see a picture of a very, very serious man. And I see how you, um, it's a good thing to be serious. But I also see how the Lord says in your relationship with him, you need to enjoy the relationship. It is, it is good to be um, serious about the relationship. But you also need to allow joy to come in. And I just see how the Lord fills you like a balloon full of helium where it gives you so much joy that your voice change you're so excited it's difficult to get your words out that is the plan that the lord has got for your life so that you so enjoy his presence that you lose yourself in a good way you lose the the restrictions that you have to allow god to come into your life and take over i just see how it, it's going to be wild it's going to be lovely but it's going to definitely be a deeper connection that you have with the Lord. Be blessed. Uh, Amen, Benjamin. Please give us a comment on this next one. It's for Carrie. Carrie, the Lord shows me how, how, how you're like in this beautiful snow. It's snowing everywhere and the Lord has put you on this sled like you're like a little child and he's put you on this sled and he's just pulling you around and how you are just having so much fun with the Lord. And I see how this sled is representing the how the Lord has made a good home for you. He has made a good place for you to put your roots down and the rope is showing that the wherever you go, wherever the Lord mm -hmm. takes you, there will be there will be water there for you to put your roots down. Because the, the, the Lord is taking you places where you need to be. And and you as a child is saying the Lord will take care of you. When you are growing, when um, even when it is hard, the Lord will be there to comfort you. Be blessed. Yeah, uh, Kerry, I just want to uh, give also just a word to your family that's visiting there. And I just felt that the Lord says that 
uh, they enjoy a lot of blessing and they, their eyes open and I just see expansion in their minds and their strategy but I just felt that it's not the season of change right now this is a season of being established and growing and then change will come later anyway that's what I felt God bless you Kerry so uh, next word is for Majit uh, so um, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how the Lord is enlisting you into the army of God but I saw you with a a dress like a dancing dress and you were dancing uh, with the like Jehoshaphat uh, and in, in praises before the Lord but you're not only dancing by yourself you were dancing with many and the Lord does bring revival the Lord does bring financial breakthrough the Lord does bring business opportunities and the Lord uh, was releasing you to minister in the church and you were not separate or isolated uh, but you were part of the team and I just felt that the Lord is raising up a team there where you are and you're going to be part of that. And this team is really going to open up a way for God's glory and financial breakthrough and revival to come in where you are. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Louis. Um, Louis, God loves you so much. And I just uh, I just feel, feel how the Holy Spirit's talking to you right now. We have a friend that um, um, he, he owns a farm and he was looking for a way to um, put it, put it in his pump. Where Where is water? And they were, and those professional water guys were looking everywhere for where they can draw water and they couldn't find it. But God told him, that spot right there and then they were like are you sure and is it, this is such a big project to dig it up to check if there's water and he says no god said that spot and then all of a sudden there was like an abundance of water and the water is so sweet and, and we tasted it and i i just feel how the lord says i'm speaking to you and when i tell you there's water there's water and then you go and dig um i, I just saw how you have this um shovel right now and it doesn't really look that pretty it doesn't really look that strong but I just feel how the Lord says you keep on going you keep on digging and it was like the more you kept on going it was like the stronger and the um the, the more new the shovel became and it was like the stronger your arms got as well so I just feel the Lord says don't um, look at your weaknesses L keep your eyes fixed on the vision and the and the commandment the, the the keep on being obedient and I will strengthen you and I will upgrade your equipment but I just feel the Lord says start and keep on going um, there is such a calling in your life and I, I just see how God is really covering you with the blood of Jesus um, he is your protection he is your portion and you are so proud so yeah, I really want to encourage you keep on digging God bless you hey Luis God bless you family it's such a privilege for us to minister to you uh, it's nice a nice group of people that came on tonight for us to minister to so thank you very much um, uh, I'm going to keep on posting uh, 10 people a day and then we're gonna be back again on Friday we love and appreciate each one have a wonderful week God bless Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.